G'day everyone, Prep Aussie here. I hope you're all well in whatever part of the world you're watching this video. Well, I said yesterday that I'd only got a, I've only got a couple more videos left in me. Um, and the reason for that is, you know, things are pretty clearly obvious now that people are actually seeing things every day in the sky now. Um, and hopefully, with people like myself pointing out a few more things, more people will get to see more things. Um, you know, Strop and I have always had a, a kind of a, a good conversation about this in regards to what do people want to see? Well, the majority of people actually want to see shit. Um, they just want to make be made to feel better that they're watching something. But that 10% of majority of people want to see something positive. And I know that sounds really weird, but people like Seven here and um, Pies and Cakes, they're filming positive things. And what do I mean by that? Well, only positive things can come out of seeing reality. If you want to watch um, non-reality and just trash crap, go and watch the other channels. Um, which aren't people filming stuff like this. As far as I can tell, um, the High Truth Channel, um, guys like this, Seven and Bob at Pies and Cakes, uh, Strop, myself, um, she's, um, you know, I'm, I'm struggling to, to tell you guys who else to look at, to be honest with you. Um, there is a few more out there, and if I've missed anyone that I know personally, I'm sorry. Look, um, as you know, I'm not feeling well at the moment, so my memory's not the greatest, and I'm trying to take um, my time to get over this thing at the moment, and it's knocking me around a bit. But my point is, it gives me a little bit of time to do a little bit of reviewing. And look, guys, honestly, at the moment, you can sit and look at absolute rubbish day in, day out, and be no wiser um, to what's going on, and you'll be sitting in your lounge room while a tsunami wave's rolling past your house. Because that's how clueless a lot of these other channels are. So, you know, like I said, the High Truth channel, BP Earthwatch is a good one. Um, um, there's another guy in England I'm going to contact soon, a guy called Neil Oakley, who's doing exactly the same as what these guys are doing. So now you've got uh, a couple of guys in America, one in England, who's doing exactly the same as what these guys are doing. And I'm going to contact him shortly because he's done some really good stuff over the last couple of days that is actually promoting the truth. It's not bullshit. And he's a good scouser lad as well. So... You know, um, Neil, if you're listening, I'll contact you soon and we'll go through a few things and then you can um, help more people out, mate. But my days are doing this numbered and the reason my days are numbered because um, I've actually moved forward with the Nibiru planning processes and we now have a community together. We've actually, we're not actually doing uh, rubbish, we're actually making plans and commitments to other people and people have made commitments to us. So my plan moving forward is to honour that commitment and hopefully save some progeny in the future for Australians and for the rest of the world. Um, Seven and Bob are doing moving the same way. Um, they're going to start building communities and it's really important that you get behind them because, folks, you haven't got much time, and it's really important, obviously. Right. This is seven... I, I'd have to show you something special today, after yesterday, to be doing another video, and this is special. Okay, folks. Right. Bob is in Boston, in America. And seven is in Cincinnati, as far as I remember. So you got Ohio and Boston is in Massachusetts, isn't it? So they're a fair distance apart. So 
they're seeing different time scales, etc. So let's just watch Seven's video here. A lot of sincerity and almost a, a desperation in his voice. He's not the most religious person in the world, but he's coming to believe. And he, and he said it. That's that's a that's a unifying prayer. It's a prayer that brings people together. So I wanted to clarify that. You know, sometimes it's sometimes it's okay to uh, follow. I wanted to say that prayer. I was, I was just getting it out. So, here's our horizon. Okay. That's the sun going down over that side. Now, just watch and listen, and or listen and watch. The northwest. Oh my gosh! It scared the crap out of me when I turned around and looked at it. Folks, can you actually s tell what you're looking at? That's too east. I just got chills up the crack of my Since when have you ever seen a perfectly seen a perfectly formed hole circle in a cloud? Are you actually seeing what's happening here? Right. Well, I'm going to show you anyway. Sorry, wrong one. This is what Seven has actually filmed. Okay. Now, if this doesn't scare the absolutely shit out of you, I don't know what does. And anyone watching who can get hold of Sam Hoffman, this is what you should be sending Sam Hoffman. Just so you know, let's go back to the video. That is a planet. These here are planets. That is a planet. That is a planet. This is a massive planet. That is a planet on the top. I'm starting to realize that what the actual um, chemtrails do is actually uh, they somehow they're resonating off the energy of what these things are doing and they're masking what the true visuals are. Wow, that freaked me out. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Now, this is west. I'll do that again. Watch this. Wow, that freaked me out. <laughs> so what is, what is this? Wow. Okay. <laughs> so let me go through those again with you. Who can see what I see? 
that's an Australian song, folks, if you don't know. It's actually a really good song. Are you guys seeing this shit? That is some scary ass stuff, folks. See all the planets in here? See the planet there? Look, see the absolutely perfect sphere? It's just covered up by that cloud there at the, at the moment, uh, by the tree. But if you follow the line of it, you can actually follow it straight round in a perfect sphere. That one as well goes round and it's in a perfect sphere. It goes right round. See the bottom of it there? See all these things here? There's another planet in behind that. This thing here is one big fucking planet. That's a planet up there as well. Oops, wrong one. Sorry, folks. Look. Look. You'd have to be blind Freddy not to see it. So sometimes the things we think we're looking at are not what they are. Perhaps that's what the chemtrails do. Sorry, wrong one. Try again. He said scary. <laughs> and then back to normal. Doesn't work. So I'm kind of hoping now you're getting the gist of what I'm actually trying to show you. The beauty of this is, is poor old Bob didn't even know what he was doing. Um, seven. Yeah, here we go. Listen to this. Just listen to what he says. You know, I wanted to say that prayer. I was, I was just getting it out. So. Now listen to this. Here's our horizon. The northwest. So that is the northwest. Oh my gosh. So this is the east. Can you see how cleverly this is all masked, covered up? Can you see that sphere there now? Look. I don't think I caught that one, actually. Even even I missed that one. I bet it scared the crap out of you. Scared the crap out of me. Let's see what difference that makes. Boom, there, he, there it is, look. One, two, three, four, five. You can't miss them, folks. You cannot miss that. It is impossible to miss that. Ah, uh, bugger. Just let me try this for a sec. Now 
Nah, it's not going to pick it up. Bugger. But you can truly see that, can't you? Oh dear. See, the, it's not a cloud formation. It looks like it, but they're perfect spheres going right round. Look, they go right round, every single one of them, and that is impossible. Well, folks, after showing you so many scary things the last couple of days, it seems to be coming more and more pertinent to say this prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses 